Hey, Eidolon, this is recording number two of your map because the first one, for some reason, you know, I don't know, I, I went in reverse order, I think because HQ defaulted his in regular order of like the levels to get feedback on, and for some reason the audio got worse and worse throughout all the videos, so some of them are going to have bad ad audio, I didn't really want to re-record lots of them, but I'm going to re-record some of them, so here's one of them, I guess. Uh, so I, I want to say that what's interesting about your level is that it looks good, but only from an out-of-bounds perspective from way out here. Because otherwise, you know, wandering through the level, there is a lot of interesting layout and structure to the level. Uh, and there's a lot of staircases. you got to like, kind of look for the next staircase. you got to find it. And there's some parts where it like doubles back on itself, like this balcony here, like we go up there and then you get to, get to look down on the part you were just at. And you got this cool moving rope with the wind tree tech, whatever that's called, move, wind, well you know what I mean, it's tree sway. Um, and this is cool, you know, it's cool. And I, and I kind of want to say, you know, it's, it would be cool if, uh, you know, there was more stuff going on each in each individual room so it wasn't just nothing there's like structure to the map which is interesting but otherwise in a detail entry there should probably be a bit more you know things to look at and to explore and that that are like tf2e themed otherwise it's like it's almost not really tf2e themed because it's like you're just kind of using the textures to build an interesting layout which is cool. Um, something I said in the last video, which I still agree with, is that I think it would be cool if this top part that's being constructed still had stuff like, you know, building plans, schematics, and blueprints, and maybe they've like crossed things out and they keep redesigning it, and that's why every room looks totally different. It just keeps getting build it, built up on itself and stuff, you know? Because um, at the moment, otherwise, there isn't really a lot else to the level. There's really interesting, unique geometry, but there's like, you know, it's weird. It's like, it's still being built, but then also the mine is closed off and you can't go into the mine for some reason. But where, okay, so where else are they getting supplies from? Where Where's the wood? Where's the spy tech base stuff? Where's the, where are the hammers? They just stop build, building this and they just close it off? What's the point of this building in the middle of nowhere? Is there a point? Like clearly there was a point at some point because they were building it and then they stopped. If you could explore that in the detailing theme of the map, that'd be pretty neat, I think. I mean, it's not necessary. I mean, you're a skilled guy, so I imagine you had some plan for it. It's just kind of weird, you know, that there isn't, like, a point to it. Some of the room's ceilings are also pretty dark. Not the ceilings themselves, but some of the rooms are dark. There's one up here somewhere where it was just getting very dark. It was getting very dark to see things. Um, but yeah, I feel like that'd just be solved with... Oh, here is where I thought it was really dark. It was right here. Um, but yeah, I think just more detail would be neat for a detail entry, but otherwise the geometry and the structure of it is really well done, I think. So, good job. 